Oh, that was good. So here I am up in snow country. Couldn't uh, help but notice as I was flying over in my sleigh that something struck my attention right here. And uh, look at what we got here. FJ40 Land Cruiser. And uh, sure enough, 39s, bead locks, and something about this catching my fancy. I don't know if you guys are noticing, but that is a lot more space than normal. So back in the day, I remember a couple guys, uh, Nick and Troy, coming into the shop and getting a bunch of our parts. And I think this is what they ended up with, 19 inches of stretch in an FJ40. We need to go see where these guys are, find them and talk about this rig and see what they got going. Got to be careful, the snow's a little slippery here. Wait, what in the heck is that? That is not a Jeep grill right there. That looks like a 1951 Austin. I think that's British, eh? Uh, who knows, but that is not a Jeep. So I like these guys. They got some weird stuff. They got FJ, all Chevy engine, Austin. Uh, what is that? Look at that. Man, CJ5. So I knew I stopped at the right place. Let's, uh, let's see if we can find them. I think they're in the shop right here. And look, they take Vista MasterCard, in case you were wondering. American flag and uh, Land Cruiser Lane. So that's what I'm talking about. What's happening, boys? Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Figured I'd see you guys here drinking Ooh. beer. Well, what else are you going to do? Well, you got one for me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, I think I left it out. Oh, wait. He's got right it my belt. Head. How about that? Well, Miss Santa, Miss Santa packed you well. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. What were you doing, Santa? So, I happened to see the FJ out front, and I decided we need to do a video, 12 Rigs of Christmas, on that FJ. Then I walk by, I see this Austin. Then I see a CJ5. But what in the f is that thing? All right, well, this is a pleasant surprise here. Got the boys in Nick's shop, and uh, this is where it all happens, huh? This is, the, this is where the magic happens, yeah. So, absolutely. typical Friday night, you call the boys, they come up, drink some beer, eat some pizza. Yes, sir. And uh, get to work, right? Yes, sir, and, and it's supporting each other's uh, creative ideas and a lot of FUs. And when you and Troy built the, F the FJs, you kind of yes. did them together. We did. And uh, I remember you came to the shop and bought a ton of parts from us. We did. Trusses, Absolutely. four link parts. I mean, I just noticed out there that you still have TJ coils in the rear captured. Yep. You know, we were doing that 15 years ago. We do. And uh, I mean, you did and all of work. our Air Bs and all of our rigs. Yep. So that rig is a badass rig. I mean, Thank it's you. in the top FJ, but I actually don't even care about that thing anymore. So Wait, what? The, the story is this thing, right? This, this, like, I thought we were here about the FJ. No, no, come on, you know. I, I mean, mean, the 20 Nobody wants stretch. to talk FJ. Look what you did. You cut, Oh, Lord. He cut the front off of an FJ40. You see that over there? And that Because he didn't like the Toyota FJ look. So what did he do? He welded a Volkswagen Bug front end onto his FJ because he thought that would be cool. It is. You know. Magnesium burns hot. Right? So back to the shop. Oh, okay. So right. this is what any guy dreams of, right? You yes, get, sir. You keep both of your two rigs in here. You come in, you got the fire, you got the guys. It's warm in here. We're out in the snow and it's warm. And I notice things like, uh, you know, the Budweiser sign, uh, Coors beer. This is always my favorite right here. In fact, I think I might get a sponsor from Coors next year. That, that's you know a I mean? 1970s. I'm working with them, but it's a six digit sponsor. Okay. You know, I've given yeah. them the paperwork. Absolutely. Um, look at this right here. That says uh, you're a fairy. Is that true? Uh, yeah. Well, no, I'm a fairy er. So we shoe horses, but a lot of people so think we drive boats this, this because is, we work so, with so fairies. This is uh, an informative video that I'm going to shoot right now. Okay. A lot of people don't know what a farrier is. And a farrier, not to be confused with the fairy like these guys. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> it, it means that you um, I'm a shoe horses and and attach the shoes to horses. Feet. Yes, uh, 
as well as work for the fire department. We do, yes, uh, and yes, absolutely. So all kinds of cool stuff. Bender, anvil. This is your forge, forge for horses, correct. right? Yes. Yep. Um, all the cool tools that you would want to have uh, in a shop. I love that. That's the uh, swag off road port yep. band setup. Absolutely. So you got your band setup. That thing is amazing. Um, nice little belt sander. So. All that is tools. called the multi-tool. Yeah, absolutely. Best absolutely tool you do your I have. fingernails in that? Too? I do. Yeah. And my toenails. Yep, absolutely. So everything in the shop is exactly how I would expect it to hope to be, you know, in the man cave and in a real man shop. You know, semi-truck, wheel, vice, yep. you know, what are you going to do? But right. let's talk about this thing. Okay. So my grandfather used to be the West Coast Taylor Dunn dealer in Berkeley. He had a company called um, Buer. Mm -hmm. And I think he would be rolling over in his grave if he saw what you did with this. Cause, yes, sir. You know, all these uh, Tesla owners and electric car people and, you know, electrify everything. The Taylor Dunn's were electrified, you know, 30 years ago, right? Yeah, this is 71. They were ahead of their times, right? 19. This is 71. 71. So 71 electric vehicle. Um, tell us the story about and this And I'm a thing. 70. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, yeah. You're a 70. I'm okay. a 70. So, so it's a year yeah. you're newer than you. Yes, sir. Hey, so when you're filming... Mm. Typically, what you do is you look at the camera. I, I was I was works. trying to get money for the WFO on the back. It's not on the back. Oh shit! <laughs> Wrong shirt. <laughs> so, anyways, um, so this is yeah, 1971 Taylor Dunn. I acquired this thing. It was it was at a point where it was about to be uh, thrown away, crushed, demolished, and I looked at it and I just had this vision. Like, I want to make a four wheel drive out of this. I had no idea how I was going to do it, where it was going to go but I had to have it. So I brought it home, sat it here, um, went on the old interwebs, found a set of Samurai axles, 200 bucks. Ooh, Sammy axles, now we're talking. So I went down, picked those up, and then, you know, got, you know figuring out how long I'm gonna so do my leaf So a lot of people springs. don't realize what rear end was in this thing when this you got had, it. This had a Ford nine inch rear end. So narrowed Ford nine inch, big banjo housing for holding the weight, because these things could haul a ton of weight, They right? could, absolutely. So if you're building a hot rod, pro street car, whatever, Go to the rec yard and get a nine inch from it from a Taylor Dunn, and you yep. actually sold it to a guy. I sold it to a guy doing a, a, a drag car. Four hundred bucks he got out of a four nine inch rear from an electric, you know, electric golf car. car. Yep. Yeah. Totally sought after. <laughs> so we, who we, knew? We stuffed the samurai axles under here, but the problem was uh, with the wheel wells, we didn't have enough turning radius. In yeah. Here. Yeah, because so these had little tiny, tiny like, like they uh, were fifteen inch yeah. wheels. O overall, outside. overall, fifteen yeah. inch. Yeah. So then we had to come in and, and customize and open all of the fender wells up so that we would have turning radius. And then yeah. being up here in the woods, you know, you don't exactly have unlimited electric power up here, right? You're in the no. trees, the power goes out. This is the exact opposite of, you know, where we, our governor is taking the state of California, right? We cannot so, rely on electricity up you here. You de-electrify. We do. Yeah. We did. And, and by if I that, had a Tesla, that's what I'd do. I'd, by, I'd LS that son of a bitch. But you know by I mean? that, we became global warmers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And so... And, and we are very proud of our global warmers. But you um, can offset your carbon credits, right? You can. Like if you got an electric scooter to go through the grocery store, you would be offsetting the carbon credits. Uh, absolutely. Minutes, right? Absolutely. Yeah. But, um, so, so how would you make this thing gas and, and four-wheel drive? And well, that, that's a good question, uh, Santa. Um, <laughs> I, I thought long and hard about that, and I have a, a friend of ours, Tobias Graham, who you do not ask or say, I would like something because he will find seven of them within a mile of your house. So He's I basically said, a keyboard warrior. He is. He, yeah. we, he can uh -huh. find seven needles in one haystack. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and I said, he's nine I, feet tall. He is. Yeah. Uh -huh. like, and that's without stilettos. Yeah. And I know that because I know everybody in the world. You do. Santa. Yeah. Yeah. Is he, I know is, how many, I know how much time he spends in the shower. It's about two minutes too long. <laughs> is he naughty or nice? Oh, very naughty. Oh, poor Tobias Graham. So anyway, what do you find you? We got to so, get back so to the story. We, we were trying to come up with a power plant and what we were going to do. So he found us a Pontiac 84 Pontiac Fiero motor. And Iron Santa Duke. himself has owned a Pontiac Fiero with no. a four cylinder. Yep. Where did Rudolph ride? I bought it from, I bought it for a dollar from a, a friend of my parents named uh -huh. Eugene. And uh, I had it in high school. Let me tell you, I, I used to tell people it was a Ferrari. You know, <laughs> if, if you just stumble your words a little bit, it's a Ferrari arrow. <laughs> yeah, or a little know? beer. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I could do wheelies in mine. So I know so exactly you, what you got. Four cylinder, it was a rear dude. engine with a transaxle, yes. right? which meant you could put it sideways. Right. So we took that, elongated it, 
We it got the whole motor transmission for 25 bucks. Yeah, so this is how we be frugal and use the interwebs. Right. right? So, so we at put this it point, in, you've made $400, spent 25 Yes, exactly. Okay. So we put it in, get it running, uh, everything. For, take a what was back then, that was a throttle body motor. It, yep. We make it carbureted, do all of that. And, and it's a four-speed manual. Four-speed manual. And so here's the idea. You have... You basically put the engine in sideways how it was in the Fiero. And if you can imagine the Fiero, one back tire here, one yeah. back tire here, there was just CV yep. shafts going to each tire. Correct. Right? Correct. But now we ran those drives to differentials. To, right. To, to the uh, Samurai axles. To, yeah, and, and built drive lines based on that. Did a little yep. machining, did all that. So then we blew the four cylinder up out they, of Moon Rocks. They, they took it to Moon Rocks because this looks like a perfectly safe vehicle to go do desert whoops and rock crawling. You know, with a no. bunch of nineteen-year-old out-of-control kids. Right. Like, I mean, wait, you're you're built. You're born in seventy, right? Yeah. So that makes you fifty-two. Two. Yes, sir. And you're going up to Moon Rocks. Yes, sir. Real smart. I like but that. I, this is I, why I like to hang out with these guys. You but know? I don't blow my appendages <laughs> off. No, you don't. So uh, you went up there. You blew the you blew the four blew cylinder. The four that cylinder was the test run. It wasn't painted yet. You came home and uh, decided to go full on American. Well, right? I did. Um, it was it wasn't something that i immediately decided to do it was uh, ironically very hard to find another four so we're making tv and you're really kind of walking, okay. talking slow here we're well pick to it up so anyways long story short <laughs> we we found a v8 and we found uh, a company that makes a v8 adapter to go to and as this is what you're looking at in the background here is a chevy 350 center dump headers, but you got this aluminum adapter plate in that's, there. That's from V8 Archie out of Nevada. Yeah. Who makes the- uh, Oh yeah, Archie. Yeah. V8 Archie. Oh, you know, no, know Archie? I know, Archie. Oh, I know everybody. Hey, have you delivered Christmas gifts I know gifts everybody, to yeah. Okay, he's good. on the nice list. He's a good too. guy. Oh, he's on the nice yeah. list? Uh -huh. I, I don't have any good. friends that are on the nice list. Okay, good, yeah. perfect. So here we are, I'm gonna shut up now. All right, so what we're gonna do is, uh, you gotta show me the engine and then we'll walk around, but I think we open it up. Take you a long time to get it up. Hey, it's not about getting it up. It's about keeping it up. And remember, it was built for my pleasure and no one else's. <laughs> a little longer than a few minutes later. To be fair, he does get it up. It just takes a while. <laughs> yeah. I'm 52, people. I'm 52. Okay, so first off. Yes, sir. The valve covers are badass. Thank you, Summit. And, and it, thank you, Summit. Um, right here, the lineate, or linear uh, actuators or whatever you call those damn things. Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. They're mm -hmm. a little slow. They are, but then look at the guy who built this. <laughs> He's a so little slow. So you can get a good look at this right here. There's the adapter plate, right? And tell us about that adapter plate, Nick, because you're so showing me with, some. So with uh, V8 Archie's adapter plate, the cool thing is, is it moves the starter. Check out from, the starter. From the passenger side to the driver's side in here. And then remote oil, filter, everything. So and that's that allows. because the other side, the transaxle, the driveline goes Correct. right by the side of the Correct. motor. Correct. Yeah. There wouldn't have been any room. Absolutely. And so these were actually designed to be in a V8 swap in a Fiero. Okay, cool. Because uh, that sounds American. Right. Yeah. I mean, why not have a Pontiac with a V8 that weighs, you know, 1,800 pounds? Sure. Why not? Let's do wheelies in the high school parking lot. So engine sourced uh, affordable, I hope. Yes. Uh, Facebook Marketplace. How much did you spend? For I it? spent a thousand bucks on the Ooh, motor. You want you want hardcore. Did it come with the carburetor, the no, intake? No, no, no. I had a Holly on it. I went Edelbrock. All of the front end off of this is out of the cruiser that you had no interest in. Yeah, um, sorry about that. That came off the motor. HEI ignition. Yep. Um, the this is worth what twenty horsepower? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh huh. Yep. See that? Yep. Um, so V eight in a Taylor done. Sorry, Grandpa, but it's amazing. Yep. Um, so Fuel cell on the back, right? Correct. And you got a rear radiator. Too, rear radiator with an electric fan. Electric fan. We that didn't. That fan have... looks a little little small. Like we haven't really run it with the V eight. We, so we have we'll... not. So yeah. so temperature. That is our big question right yeah, now. Yeah, but I learned on Days of Thunder that if you just add like a half mile of hose, that cools too, right? Is that what you learned? Because yeah. you know what I learned. What from Days of Thunder? Loose is fast. No, Rubbin's racing. Oh, I like that too. So what's this right here? Oh, that's the old cherry bomb. When I was in high school, those were at the Napa Auto Parts in a 50 gallon barrel for 12 bucks a piece. Well now, unfortunately, they are to 19.99. Oh, 19.99. Yeah, okay. which almost broke the bank on this whole build, yeah. but we were able to do it. So I, I see a hydraulic slave cylinder right yes, here. Yes, sir. 
right? So that hydraulic slave, what does that do? Well, that is our clutch. So and that's that, the clutch. So this is, this is, you got to see this guys. This is amazing. So our clutch, we had no room to add a clutch here. So yeah, we had the freaking front bumper. There, there's is nothing there, right? right? So our clutch is actually here. We use it like a tractor locker. We use our heel to engage the clutch, but the clutch is actually right there. actually made out of what was a drifting brake. So you got a hydraulic slave cylinder. The, the pedal go, swings backwards, pushes on the slave cylinder in the front wheel well, and then the steering column's not tailored down either, right? No, nope. That's a uh, Speedway's motor. And obviously you got blinkers because you got to be street legal. Yeah. When you're, you, you, know, you, you want to see our taking blinkers? it down to the bar, right? Oh, yep. yep. Blinkers work. Oh man, all the dash lights work. Even yeah. the tachometer lights up. Yeah. Uh, I see you got a, a removable uh, steering wheel there. Let me go around the other side. Yeah. Um, well, just check out the inside of this bad boy. So, so we can remove our steering wheel, because, and, and, and we, you can remove the passenger's own shit handle. Yeah, because you never know the obesity and the size yep. of people that are going to be in your vehicle. And then look at this. Look at that. That's the jet boat uh, gas pedal, right? Yes, sir. That's amazing. Um, and then, what's the, what do we got going here? So that's the uh, old grenade that uh, I acquired when I was in Oklahoma. And if I remember correctly from my Fiero. The linkage is all cable shift, right? It is. So it's you all, just mounted the cable shifts. We, uh, we mounted the shifter here with the cable shifters. Um, that was a little difficult getting that to operate. So up to the front here, you have what I don't really appreciate and I think is garbage is a, a light bar that's not made in the United States. Oh, I do? Yeah. You know, that's what happens when friends give you things. Yeah, yeah. And by that, would be that friend there. <laughs> Yeah. So, so I, I do not appreciate that. Oh, I. You know what? But, I second. And then that, what, what about this? Did you get this winch at Harbor Freight? No, Amazon. With, oh, Amazon. Yeah. Oh yeah. Really? That makes it okay. No. Oh, it makes okay. it cheap. All right. Uh, look at those little lips. You know, I do you like little. So any. So we have uh, one thing I noticed is take a look right here. And we're jumbling around. Is that's a full hydraulic ram right there, right? Yes. So sir. that was uh, repurposed, correct? That came out of a forklift also with the orbital valve. So and if we could open this up. The orbital is just under the cone. Correct. You got single and ram, full hydraulic steering with the SAMI axles and spring over on the SAMI axles. Correct. And then the leaf springs, what were the leaf springs out of? They were all Samurai. Samurai springs. So yep. I noticed it's got hangers and stuff on there. Are those the Samurai hangers repurposed or did you, you I know you bought quite a few parts for us like spring I plates, did in the hangers. Shock mounts, that kind of stuff. Yes, came from WFO. Um, and is this the stock frame right here? No, that is not. So what happens was, was the way this was prior, we had to cut all of this out to yeah. come in here to make room for the motor. So this was you basically all basically front half it. We did. So and this is the, what, some people take their time to front half or back half their buggy, their cruiser, you know, their hardcore wheeler. You're doing it to basically a golf cart. Yes, sir. Tube fenders. These are probably the strongest part on the whole rig. Right. And then uh, diamond plate. You always got to have this, diamond plate this on was, this, was, this was all OG. That's factory, right? And yep. then you went ahead with uh, Treks on the flatbed. Treks on the flatbed. And I like these little rails in this between. This is horseshoeing bar stock. Oh, that's this awesome. This is what we use well, to make Well, you ferries, that's, you know how to get well, that kind ferries, of stuff. Well, that's ferries, ers. Yes. And, uh, you know, you even got an upper deck up there above the engine. Um, that, that's a good place for Santa to ride. Now, something I, I want to talk about is uh, the age of your tires. Uh, what, what are these, about 97 miles? Uh, uh, probably, I think I last I Yeah, in 93 they, called, they want their uh, aluminum modular wheels back too, right? Well, they do, but you know, when you're striving for sponsorship, you do with what you can, and this was given to me by a buddy, so he's now my sponsor. He is, so uh, you know, he can hang out with the other sponsor, that one from AA. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so, he's right there. <laughs> yeah, he's not helping very good, is he? Yeah. So the story is, you tested it with the Fiero motor, you brought it back here, you tore it back apart, you put the V8 in it. Painted um, it. You just got done painting it last weekend, you put it back together. Correct. This has not driven yet. It right? has not. And I'm here to go for a ride in it now. Let's go for a ride, Sam. Yeah, so uh, I think that we'll uh, take another hour and six beers to get the bed back down. Yes, sir. Um, and then uh, we might take it for a ride. Okay, should I start going down? I mean, put the bed down? Oh boy, all right, <laughs> bed down. <laughs>
about that? Well, I think it runs. Uh oh. He's cutting out. Uh oh. We out of gas? We are now. I think we might have lost timing. You'll have that on these uh, test drives, you know. Even if you have all the right people on your team to help you build, you know, a mid-engine trailer done, you're gonna have this happen on these big jobs, right? Oh yeah, just give the distributor a little crank, you know, it's check tight. the timing, you know, it's not moving. So it looks like we're uh, dead in the water here. While Nick and the crew were fixing ugly buggy, Santa decided to take the Land Cruiser for a ride. This is how he creates customers by breaking their stuff. <laughs> Love the guy. Love the guy. Santa loves to drive everybody's vehicle. <laughs> so here's what I said. The thing about me is I like to take it easy on all of them, just get to know it, you know? Yeah, but Santa, this is how I figure you generate business for yourself. What, wreck other people's rigs? Yes, sir. It doesn't really work out. <laughs> <laughs> you guys well, there's only one more thing to do. Drink beer? No, we're gonna do a burnout in it's Ugly Buggy. Down. Oh, let's do it. Get the siren, too. And do one of these. You know, I did like little. I, I dated a girl. Never mind. <laughs> so what do we got here? This so, caught my eye. So Santa, uh, th this is a treat. Yeah. Not a trick or treat, but a treat. The this was the old oil pan off of the four cylinder that was in it, and when you crawled down and looked up under.